Hello, it is July 28, 2023, and this is Cancer Update 40. This is Chemo Round 2, and this is Day 2. So, my reflections on my time since I've had my infusion, infusion port um, connected is that you actually feel really quite good uh, for the first, at, at least the first two days of uh, receiving chemo. And the reason is that one of the injections that they give you is steroids. So at the moment, the power of the steroids holding me up is greater than the power of the chemo pulling me down. And as a result, I actually feel quite full of energy. So much so that I actually didn't sleep last night. I was on a, on a steroid buzz uh, all of last night because I was infused quite late in the day. You might remember I didn't get home until 6 p.m. And as it turned out, I was actually completely unable to sleep. So I've had um, two hours sleep since I last uh, sang you. What, what I hope you enjoyed was um, a lovely song by Kermit the Frog. Uh, and thank you all for the lovely um, compliments on that song. It was an absolute joy um, to sing it. And I'm starting to come to the realization that a lot of the a lot of what you need to bring to the game to get through chemo is to keep your mental game, to keep it all going together up here. And it helps if you can do things like I did yesterday and have a little bit of humor, uh, have, have uh, friends around you uh, like Caroline, and also obviously Caroline is taking, taking special precautions with my nutrition. And all, what all of that is adding up to is that my mind game at the moment is quite good. And I'm starting to come to the realisation that the trick to getting through chemo is to get your mind right first. And if you get your mind right first, then you will eat the nutritious food and you will try and go for a walk and exercise. And on those days where you're in really bad shape, uh, you're, able, you're able to go, OK, but I know this is a temporary thing and you can pull yourself through it because you've got your mind together. So my advice to people going through the chemo um, battle um, in, the early, in the early days when you're learning how to, how to get through it, my advice to you is give, give a lot of thought to the mental game. Try and think about what is it that I can do to, uh, to keep my head in a really good place because if I can keep my head in a good place, then I will make, I will make decisions and take actions that will put my good body into a good place. You know, I will eat well. I will not consume alcohol. I will not have too much sugar or salt um, in my diet. And, and I will just, I will make good decisions. You know, even things like brushing your teeth and um, using oral mouthwash, that they talk about that quite a bit in the pamphlets for how to care for people that are undergoing chemo treatment. They talk about mouth ulcers being quite common. So it's just things like brush your teeth and use the mouthwash. Well, if you don't have a good um, mental game going, you're probably not gonna bother. But when you do have a good mental game, you're like, yeah, yeah, it's time to brush my teeth and, um, and, and use the mouthwash. So my observation at this point is it starts here. It starts in the mind. And, uh, and I, I appear to be having my mental game together fairly well. And things like singing uh, Kermit the Frog songs is part of uh, keeping keeping my spirits high, and um, and you obviously enjoyed it as well, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was fun. So um, uh, several of you have asked if there could be some more singing. Um, I am going to try and accommodate you. Not in this video. Um, I need to uh, space those songs out and uh, and deliver them to you at the right time. But there will be some. So um, that that was good fun. I hope we all enjoyed that. One thing I wanted to document today is the setup that I've got going on here. So I'll just reposition myself into what I think is the middle of the camera. So I think that's about middle of frame there. Um, excuse the belly. Um, I'm not the fine catwalk model that I used to be. But this is what appendiceal cancer and pseudomyxoma peritoneum looks like. So that's the, that's the ascites there. So that is not fat, that is, that is retained fluid. So just to show you the setup, so we've got the infuser port um, up here. So that is in effect a subdermal cannula that they clip the, um, the needle cap onto. That then goes off to a two-way uh, two manifold. 
So they've got one that they could um, put off to a, a glucose line or a, um, the a steroid line there. This other one here is going off to a temperature sensor because apparently my body temperature somehow regulates the rate of flow from this um, bag here, which is fluorouracil. I'll just have to pop my glasses back on. You'll notice that the bottle itself uh, is numbered from zero to 10. So that is an indication of how, how it is pumping. Now it needs to get down to zero after two days. And you'll notice that it's ever so slightly sitting above five, which means it is running at exactly the right rate because I'm not quite 24 hours yet and it's not quite halfway. So I dare say that um, this pump is pumping at exactly the right rate. I hope you can see that there. I'm sure somewhere here it'll be in focus. Anyway, so this infuses over 48 hours. They give you a handy um, round the neck bag um, to put it into. Um, you could also just tuck it into your underwear or what have you. And you get these, these here are clamps, so I won't do it, but if I was to push that together, it would clamp the line shut. And you get, you've got one there, and you've got a yellow one up here as well. And um, yeah, and, that, and that's about it. So at roughly four to, between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. tomorrow, I will have um, all of this removed because that this bottle will, will be empty at about five o'clock tomorrow. And, um, and then that marks the, when I have this off, we'll be getting close to the end of day three and the end of day three is when the steroids wear off. I remember last time, it was only just after I'd driven myself home, having had the, um, the pump and the, the clip removed, it was only just after I'd driven the car home and the downhill slide of the steroids running out um, hit me. So the night of day three, you just, you crash rapidly because uh, the steroids have run out, but the chemo is still hitting hard. So for me on my first round, it was end of day three, huge crash. All of day four, lethargy and nausea like you wouldn't believe. And I had, if you remember, two hours of hiccups from um, 11 p.m. until 1 a.m. on uh, the, the morning of day five. Day five was a lot of nausea and, um, and lethargy. And from day six onwards, it started to get a little bit better. And by the time I got through to day 14, uh, if, if people had said, how's the chemo going? I would have said, what chemo? I feel fine. So by day 14, you're, you're, you're pretty good. So that's pretty much uh, the game. Um, that's where it's at. Oh, speaking of the game, uh, tonight is Collingwood versus Carlton. So I'm gonna be watching it uh, on TV tonight. So um, if you're in Australia, I hope you are too. It should be a good match. My team is the Dockers, uh, so um, we're having a terrible year. Well, not a terrible year, not as bad as West Coast, but um, we're not having a great year. But uh, Collingwood Carlton should be a good game, and I'll certainly be watching it. For those of you in the US, have a look at AFL. You might like it. And for those of you anywhere else in the world, have a look at it. Find it on Fox Sport or wherever. Australian Rules Football is a fantastic game. It's really, really athletic. Uh, it's and it's exciting, so give it a go. So I'll sign off here. Uh, it was lovely to talk to you again, and um, I may or may not post to you tomorrow. It depends on on how I feel. So um, please don't panic if you don't see a post from me tomorrow. All right. Thanks for calling Perth. See you later. Bye.